Uh, Self-judgment is an ass kicker. I, and I tell you, it runs rampant through me, through all the clients, even a lot of coaches I know. Self-judgment, self-ass kicking is the one thing that's going to keep you from being in flow, especially with women. It is killing your sex life. Let's cut this shit out. This is a really bad habit of mine. I, there was a time in my uh, development where I was really hard on myself. And I thought that being hard on myself, you're not doing enough, you gotta try harder, you're broken, so you gotta do more, was, I thought this was the work. And it's not the work, it's the opposite of the work. It feels like you're growing because you're whipping yourself, but you know, it doesn't work like that. And it took a little while for all that to shed. First of all, I had to become really vigilant on the voices, the self-talk that I was giving myself. It's all bullshit, it's all lies, it all comes from someplace else other than you. Now, I did a really good job of dropping a lot of this stuff, and what comes up is uh, this sense of self-respect, like, okay, and, and eventually self-love. Now, that said, uh, I discovered the other day that I was not done with my uh, ass self ass kicking. Uh, it was all still there. It was subtler. It wasn't as powerful. It wasn't as overwhelming. But I thought that I'd gotten rid of most of it. Nah, there was still a ton left. These little judgments, I mean, from uh, uh, the way I looked, how I approached women, my success in life, my success with women, uh, all the stuff that was undercutting me. And it was like insanity. This is also happening. I was becoming judgmental of the entire world. I realized that when I saw someone on the street or I looked at a tree or a house, there was the most subtle judgment that preceded what I appreciated about them. So it was judgment appreciation. So I could see a beautiful girl and go, eh, her hair isn't quite right, but boy, she's pretty. Or I see a beautiful house and I go, oh, that looks like it will fall apart, but it's a very nice house. This, it would happen just like a microsecond before it. And I was doing the same thing to myself. So I have a practice for you. I've been doing this recently since all these micro judgments are popping up that towards myself. I want you to try them. It's a form of releasing. I want you to sit and allow every single self-defeating voice, thought, belief about yourself in. I don't want you to deflect them. I don't want you to reason with them or argue with them. I just want you to become really aware of them. Now, it's one thing to allow these in, and it's the other to believe in them. I'm not asking you to believe in them. I don't want you to believe in them. I want you just to invite them and let them like flow over you and just watch them and feel underneath them. That's the key because that feeling, that grief or that sadness or that fear or whatever, or the, the, that apathy, that fear is, that stuff is fueling these thoughts. So with each thought, let it come up, look underneath its skirt, there's the feeling to it, and allow the feeling to be more real than the thought. If you do this over and over and over again with each thought that comes up, I guarantee you they were going to run out of fuel. They do seem real, by the way. First, when you start inviting these in, you're going to go, oh, no, I can't. Uh, God, I've been hiding. I've been hiding from that thought, that I'm weird-looking thought uh, for too long. And if I let that thought in, it's going to damage me. Well, you know what? You're a man. You can handle it. If you... The more we resist these, these uh, thoughts, uh, the, the stronger that they uh, get. So here's what happened to me. I start to allow these thoughts in just the other day. And a lot of grief was coming up, or at least I thought it was grief. 
I, it was like, okay, if I think I'm weird looking, that must, there must be sadness underneath that or loneliness. And so I was trying to squeeze uh, some kind of grief underneath all these self-defeating thoughts. And after a while, it just wasn't working. And I started realizing that it wasn't grief under these thoughts. It was anger. The more I brought in all these thoughts, I realized I wasn't angry at myself for believing them. I wasn't angry at whoever told me these things were true about me or my life. I was just angry at the thoughts themselves. And it was so fucking cool. I sat there, I started, <laughs> I started cursing at each thought that came up. You are a mother, fuck you. Fuck you thought, fuck you big nose thought. God damn it, asshole. I was really doing that. I was doing that for about 10, 10 minutes at every single thought that came through. And uh, I got some kind of power out of it. So I want you to try this. I want you to allow every single negative thought about yourself to come to the surface, let it float, feel the emotions underneath it, and let those feelings go too. Or just feel them and realize the thought and the feeling are just passing vibrations, just passing through you and your uh, meat sack. Let me know how things go. Please comment below, like this video, all the yada, 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 YouTube uh, stuff. And uh, also, if you have anything that you want me to comment on, any topics, let me know in the comments below. All right. Peace. Bye.